Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Trophy at the Babbling Belgian and welcome back to Fallout 4 Survival. We just woke up and we woke up with an illness, which is the first time this happens to us in this, uh, this playthrough. And the illness we've gotten is weakness. So we take 20% more damage. We are at 20% adrenaline since we haven't taken a full night's sleep just yet. And because we are peckish, we also redu we have reduced endurance. But with the antibiotics, we can actually get rid of the sickness. But of course, we get thirsty in return. So now we get minus two intelligence and minus one perception. So we don't want to have that either. So let's take some purified water. And I think I can deal with Parched. Parched gives us, well, reduces our intelligence, but that kind of makes sure we uh, actually get more experience. Because it did Savant will trigger more, so I don't really care about that. Braced, girded, leather, right arm. I didn't check that before. It's worse than what I have, so let's move on. Let's move on. So uh, last time, we had a terrifying trek through the Corvega car factory, which is where we are still at. Because I needed to sleep here, kind of. Um, but now we're free to move back to Ten Pines Bluff and finish up that quest. That means we can also return back to Sanctuary and finish that off with Preston. So that's what we're going to do first today. And then after that, we're going to try and explore, um, well, Lexington in full. So we may be outside, but that doesn't mean we're out of the woods, by the way. Baseball bat, if you want it. It's right. Wait, did they remove the baseball bat? Oh, no, there it is. There it is. I don't really need it, but uh, we're not out of the woods just yet. Because there are, of course, raiders outside of this area as well. I think there's supposed to be one. I think I killed the one up top. So I might be able to check out his corpse, but... The other raiders might have actually gone up as well. Because that's the tunnel we've been uh, into. Where we've been bombarded with uh, Molotov cocktails. But I don't see anyone. But... Oh, oh god. Um, hi. Uh, I have criticals. There you go. Goodbye. Oh. She didn't die from that. Probably because it just wasn't a, a sneak attack, otherwise she would have died. A uh, Molotov cocktail and stim pack, and a bunch of beer bottles. And some corn and some drugs, but that's basically it. So that's a pretty empty container here, and that was probably the radio that was seeing us. Can we open this up? No. Okay, then that means we are free to leave Lexington again, and we'll head towards Ten Pines Bluff, which is now straight to our north. There are a few dangers along the way, such as, you know, the, the terrifying power armor radar you just saw passing in the distance there. In that building, the light was definitely an enemy. Um, can I actually jump down here? That doesn't seem too high, now does it? Yeah, there he is. That flashlight is, is a radar in power armor. Um, let's go down. Try to be as sneakily as possible. Okay, people are shooting already. I think I'm gonna move to the sides here because raiders are fighting what sounds like. Too fucking easy. Yeah, ghouls. Oh god. There we go. He's down. Shotgun shells. Don't mind if I do. And it's this in, well, outside pool that should have it. But there's, of course, raider scum. Raider scum is pretty difficult to handle. It seems like she's alone. Oh, she is actually damaged quite a bit. I'm not gonna waste my hunting rifle on that. She might be moving in my direction. There she goes. Double sneak attack. Don't need to worry about that. And there's more sleeping bags over here. That's... Is that one of the raiders as well? Or is that the raider I just shot and she, she just fell into the water? That's sad. Don't mind if I take the grenade. Hello, dog meat, you scared the fuck out of me. And they, yeah, there were a lot of ghouls over here. Let's check out the corpse, which for some reason floated over there. I don't think there's a current in this pool, but apparently there is, because there's multiple corpses just going over here. Oh god, there's a lot of radiation in this thing. I can't check out this guy for some reason. Nope. Okay, so 
Let's just move on then. And I changed my uh, right leg for a lightweight, light, lightweight right leg. There we go. I can talk. So there's definitely readers up there with another turret. But I'm just going to skirt around the outside. And just slowly make my way back to Ten Pines Bluff. And then we have the... What's this? A sanatorium? Or just a Mystic Pines. So the, uh, the old people house. That's right there. There's a lot of bugs in there, but I don't really want to tangle with them now. Because I'm starting to get sleepy, I'm starting to get hungry, thirsty and all of that. So I just want to make my way back to Ten Pines Bluff. Slowly. And that's a gunner camp, isn't it? It's a sort of old military checkpoint at least. But there is somebody over there. But from this distance I can't really see... Oh! They're getting attacked by what seems like wild dogs. Let's take a closer look. The tank doesn't seem to hold anything. Oh yeah, I'm just gonna let them fight it off. So a rabbit mole rat against a settler. So there's definitely mole rats there. Might as well help that guy out. Okay. Still in one piece. There we go. Can I have a little chat with you? Oh yeah, I remember this area. Uh, that was a rabbit. Hello? Okay. The, the mole rat wasn't paying... Oh hmm. god. I think there was another one popping out there. Yep, there it is. And I got a critical. And one more critical out the bag. Good is paying off. Okay, can, can I talk? Huh? Oh god. They keep popping up, don't they? Um, critical to the face. Well, I'm glad they're focusing on her. Oh god. There's another one. And they're going after me now. That's not the hit. That's not the hit game. I know you're showing the animation like she killed him, but... There we go. And that was a cripple. And now we got the final shot. Okay, I did take poison damage there. But that's a lot of meat for us. Wait, what the hell? Dog meat! Dog meat! Did you just... I, di I didn't hit the... I must have hit the settler by accident there. He just killed the settler! D dog meat! Bad dog. So I took a Nuka Cola Quantum as well, which makes me get rid of my fatigue temporarily. Because, um, you know, like coffee works in the real life. Well, Coke, Coke works in the... Coca-Cola works in real life. Um, but yeah, it's all only temporary. So once that wears off, I'm actually back at the same level of fatigue I was before immediately without just gradually going back to that level. That's a lot of mole rats, by the way. I can make some nice food out of that. I could go into the... Oh, God. No, 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 no. I think I just avoided getting hit there. I don't know where the corpse went. I think probably because it was mid-jump, it went flying. You know what? Fuck this. I can handle this. Let's grab the shotgun. Oh, God, I can't handle this. I threw a grenade for mole rats. Ow! You motherfucker. I think I blew up my own dog as well, but... You know. I'm fine. H how the hell were you not dead from that first shot? Short barrel, I assume. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So there's a big chest over there. And that's what I want to have. I hope I didn't blow anything useful up here. Aside from that mole rat I decapitated. So, fusion cell, 10mm rounds, fragmentation grenades, mine. And a compensated 10mm pistol. I don't need to compensate for anything, so I'm gonna just leave that over there. For some reason there's a sofa embedded in the wall. Never really noticed that, because I've been to this location before, but... Yeah, back to the... The, no, no, the pistol. The pistol, thank you. 
So nothing in the nearby buildings either. So let's just head further north. Back towards Sand Pines Bluff. And I think beyond the bridge we should already be there. I mean I say already but that's been like 15 minutes so. The lack of fast travel really really hurts. Especially since you can die along the way as well. You're not that fast. Even I mean I want to sneak a bit because you know. I don't want to bump into a. A straight dead claw or something like that. So there's a rat watch over there. I'm even gonna leave that over there if I don't need to fight it. Ammo is precious. Dog meat, stop making weird noises. So we're almost back. That's the train yard with all the ghouls over there. So Tampines Bluff is just up there. So I could take the bridge, but the bridge might be guarded by something else. I'm just gonna take the quarry. Well, not the quarry, just the, the canyon, the train canyon, the Williard canyon. Whatever, you know what I mean. But I think from now on we're pretty much home free, so let's just run up to Ten Pines Bluff. I'm gonna put my gun away even. I'm just that confident that uh, there's nothing in between us and Ten Pines Bluff. Hello, good woman. And, I don't know, man in, in a nightmare? Hello? Hello? Hi. And you? L Louise is here to save you from your troubles. We definitely didn't die three times inside of Corvega. You found I'm the fine. Raiders? Yes, and I dealt with them with no problem whatsoever. That's the best piece of news we've had around here for a good long time. So we've been talking. We decided if you came through for us, we'd join up with the Minutemen again. If we want things to get better, we've got to start helping each other. So we're in. You can count on us if you need help down the line. Thanks again, friend. 96 bottle caps? You call that help? Uh, Dogmeat? This, well, this is getting awkward. Um, will you please get off the bed of this lovely woman? So now we can use the workbench over here. I'm gonna store all my junk in there. I was just at my carrying capacity, apparently. Without even noticing. Oh god, I'm cooking, but I hear gunfire. Is that? That even sounds like laser rifles. What the hell is going on? I I shouldn't check that, right? I definitely shouldn't check that, but... Sounds like it's right down here. Um, that sounded like... That's like a... Why was that a robotic voice? Oh god, there's a military Mr. Gutsy around there. Let's not piss that thing off. Let's not definitely not piss that thing off. He sounds... he had a skull next to his name. That's usually a bad sign. And there we go, I made myself a little shack with a bed. And that allowed... Uh, look, look, like, look at that, that's a clean bed, right? Nothing that the plant life can do anything about. And a good night of sleep gets us uh, well in the afternoon. But with a bit of food in our stomach and a bit of water, we can actually fix that up immediately. There we go, properly hydrated. Let's get back to Sanctuary then. Because we need to tell Preston the good news. And since I feel that my ammo situation should actually be a little bit better. I don't know where, where this random skeleton came from. I'm going to check out the satellite dish in, on the way back now. Which should be doable. I think there's... is that a raider up there? Nope, there's a raider up there though. So he's just moving along. Let's see if we can do anything about that with my hunting... Nope, he just moved out of frame. Oh, there he is. Hi. Ah, dog meat is already attacking him. There we go. That scats us inside the building. Oh shit, that's one of those. I told you about the mole rats with explosives strapped to them, right? Think you can win this? That's one of those. Um, yeah, that was definitely one of those, because look, it's just a chunk now. Ooh, ow, 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 dog meat, get the fuck out of the... Dog meat! Jesus Christ, dog. I just got shot because of you. I'm just gonna run up. We need to be careful that I still have action points. He's definitely shooting at me. There he is. 
No, stop shooting. Stop shooting. Let me do all the shooting, please. Thank you. I'm still in caution. Not sure why. I don't know why I keep taking all those Molotov cocktails, by the way. Um, but, booze. Booze. I need to remember to use booze before we turn in quests and stuff like that. That's a bit of ammo, but not what I was expecting. We do get the discovery music here. And I don't really know what for, because... I mean, we just cleared out a few people from a shat satellite dish. I knew, do know that the guy I killed down here had shotgun shells. And there's another bed here, so... I'll check out his inventory, and then we'll do a little save. Um, just a little problem, I don't know where his corpse went after the mole rat exploded. He definitely had some shotgun shells on him. But I don't know if there's anything left of his corpse. There should be. But that explosion might have blown him all the way to who knows where. So, couldn't find the corpse, so I just slapped it off. Um, because this is not a chunk yet, that's just more mole rat chunks. No, let's head inside and see what we can find over here. Because this place is rather big. But it might also contain a few nice items. Now, close quarters with a lot of enemies. So we might get out of here alive, or this might be another Corvega situation. The lasers. Triggering that thing over there. That's the first time I've seen such complicated traps in here. We get experience from all of that, but I feel like we're not dumb enough to trigger uh, Idiot Savant multiple times. Because it hasn't triggered in quite a while. And then we have the guard terminal, which is locked behind advance, which could, I think, open up that door. What the? Hi. Bye. So that's that, at least. I think I... Oh, gold! Wow! That basically took everything. Wow, I'm blind. Ow, that really hurt. Um, well, the dog warmed up. Damn, that was more than half my health in one go. Just by getting bitten by a dog. This difficulty does not faff around. Do get double the meat, though. Yeah, why didn't I get double the meat on the mole rats? Oh, there he is. Well, that was me, but you couldn't see me there. Uh, dog meat. Oh, crap. Dog meat, you're in the way again. Dog meat. Is it? There we go. Just get close. I think there's an easier way down, because, of course, with those gratings, they can toss up. Molotov cocktail, so I'm just gonna take the other staircase and leave the ammo I don't use behind and just slowly move our way down. So over here, there's two. Damn it. That was a raider scum. Oh wow. Oh wow, I just shot his head off. Didn't, didn't think that would happen. But wait, we're in hidden and it's pretty stable at the moment. There's clearly somebody still around, but it feels all right. That's one. I think if the other one comes around the corner, I can crit him. Who's out there? Oh. There we go. I think I... I think I'm going to throw another grenade over there. There we go. Oh god. Yeah, ack ack. Uh, all in the heads, please. There we go. Critical in the face, and there goes her head. That was dramatic. Is there still somebody alive? Sounds like there is. There you go. There you go, dog meat. I probably get everything back around here. Is that. Oh no. Oh, I broke the. <laughs> I broke the lunchbox. I need those lunchboxes. You can make you can make bottle cap mines from that. But Nuka Cola Quantum, that's always nice. Five millimeter round stim pack and a minigun. Just gonna take the stim pack and your face. Because you lost your face. Good 
buy. Ooh, ammo box. Ammo box is always nice. That was a lot of stuff. Um, and there's a lot of heads around here. You might think I'm a maniac, but I, I just shot them in the face and it popped off. But fusion core, always nice, because we're going to grab our uh, power armor in a minute as well. So we got a nice batch of ammo already. The rest of these rooms are pretty empty, but this last area usually also contains something rather nice. Uh, and we can actually unlock that if we want to, but need to be careful because I think if I recall correctly, this room is filled with oil and oil is God. flammable. There we go. An explosive and all of that. So there's definitely a few... Oh, legendary rat roach. That's what I was hoping for. It's always nice. Uh, there's more. Let's kill that one. And then that one. Because rat roaches are hard to hit, especially with my aim. There's one over there. Uh. And we got idiot savant off of that. It's definitely not all of them yet, but the short automatic laser musket. Automatic firing mode. Interesting, but not something for me, I think. I do have the energy cells. I'll grab it just because. Just because I can. And I need to grab all... Wait, am I over encumbered? I'm over encumbered, so I can't grab it. That's too bad. So automatic firing mode. What does that actually mean? Ah, I, I can't even charge it. It just... Yeah, it just does that. Okay. That's a bit weird for a laser musket. <laughs> So, there we go. Dropped it. Still have a bit of space left. This thing might be booby trapped, but explosives are always nice. Just a rat away, so no explosives there, but we're almost up to our next level. Just gonna grab all the rat roach meat in the world, and I think there's still one more rat roach around here. There it is. There we go. Idiot savant. And now we get the intel room key, bobby pins, and uh, do I take the duct tape? I'm gonna take the duct tape. There we go, and more meat. What does the army helmet do, actually? Plus 10 damage resistance instead of plus 1 endurance. I don't think it will matter. Unless somebody in the comment section can tell me if it does matter, I can come and grab it back again, but I don't think it actually matters. And that feels like this area cleared out. I don't feel like the hidden... The brackets aren't shuffling anymore, so... That seems to be nice. Okay, so now we can head back upstairs. And grab that room that was locked off. So, back upstairs. We now have the Intel room key, so we can open that up. But should probably be careful. And there we have a mini nuke. I'm not gonna grab that, because that weighs too much. Are there mines in here? Doesn't seem like it. But we do get a few Nuka Colas and Fancy Lad Snack Cakes. Aha! And 0.308 rounds. That's always nice. That's what I was hoping for as well, because I haven't gotten a lot of those. Don't think the safe is booby trapped. And otherwise, well, goodbye. And in there we do get some pre war money and shotgun shells. Could take the cold plated. Yeah, you know what? Let's grab that as well. There's nothing else in there? No. And then in the back we have a big army chest and that contains more 308 rounds, 10mm rounds, grenades, a fragmentation mine and some pre-war money. The rest I'm gonna leave over there with just not to the level yet for some more fancy weapons. I think that starts at level 10. But uh, we'll start seeing those uh, soon. But level 10 also means that we're gonna have to start upgrading our weaponry which we'll do very very soon. But that concludes our little trip into the satellite dish. I'm gonna sleep outside again. And then we'll head out. So I do feel like the brackets are a bit closer than they should be. But I'm hoping I can just lock in a quick save. There we go. And then we can go to sanctuary overnight. I'm packaged from a lack of food and parched from a lack of water. But I really, really don't care about, especially the, the latter, the food situation. Bloat flies. Oh yeah, got them both. With just manual aiming. I don't suck at aiming just yet. 
Aha, we don't get double the meat from the blood flies either, which is interesting. So then I, I really wonder what the distinction is there. So rat roaches do give us double meat, but other insects like blood flies don't give us double meat. And I think that's actually the location of the extra suit of power armor, if I'm not mistaken. Is it? Yeah, there it is. There it is. I might as well take it with me. Now that it's here. Is that thing attacking me? It's not, but dog, is, dog meat is going to try and kill it. Um, so it only has a few things left. But I mean, power armor is power armor. It gives us extra protection, so might as well take that with me. There we go. Going in. We don't have the helmet, the left arm, and the right leg. But that's fine, I guess. Let's grab the pistol. Because we have the fusion core we picked up from the satellite station. And there we go, I killed another rat stack dough and that triggered Idiot Savant and we leveled up. So I'm gonna grab the meat while we're going and then I'm gonna do something a little bit interesting. I don't know why, but Preston is over there. I'm in Sanctuary, but Preston is... I think Preston went for a swim. That's not... Preston! Preston! That's not the perimeter, buddy. So I can use the time that Preston is using to get back over the bridge to actually explain what I want to do here. So I want to maximize my experience gain from the quest I'm just going to turn in. But the easiest way to do that is normally to have plenty of intelligence because more intelligence means more experience gained. But we also have Idiot Savant, so I want to get my intelligence as low as possible to try and triple the XP I'm going to get from turning in this quest. So right now my intelligence is at 2 because I'm parched, so that reduces my intelligence by 1. But if I drink something that has booze in it, like for example vodka, that actually reduces my intelligence by 1 as well. So if I drink that and check my intelligence, my intelligence is now 1, while my strength is now up to 12 because of the power armor and the vodka. So if we now talk to Preston... You know that settlement you sent me to help? They've decided to join the Minutemen. That's great news. I knew you were the right person for the job. By the way, you should have one of these flare guns. You can use it to signal for help from any nearby Minutemen. Not much use yet, but once we have more allied settlements, you'll have help whenever you need it. I don't think I ever told you what happened to the Minutemen. There we go, complete the first tap, but oh, we yeah, didn't trigger the Idiot Savant, sadly. So now we're going to get a bit more background information about what happened to the Minutemen that caused them to be in the state where we're trying to build them up again. So, the Quincy Massacre. I was with Colonel Hollis's group. A mercenary group called the Gunners was attacking Quincy. The people there called for the Minutemen to help. We were the only ones that came. The other groups... They just turned their backs on us and the folks in Quincy. Only a few of us got out alive. Colonel Hollis was dead, so I ended up in charge of the survivors. We never found a safe place to settle. One disaster after another. You saw how it ended in Concord? I can't rebuild the Minutemen, but I think you can. I'll do it. Good. Good. Welcome aboard. I feel like this is a whole new star for the Minutemen and the Commonwealth too. Don't worry, I'll be right beside you all the way, General. So that's, I think, the fastest way every anyone ever became a general. So uh, quite a promotion. The one good thing about being the last Minuteman is there's no one to argue with me when I say you're the new general. Now it's your job to make it more than an empty title. I've gotten word about a settlement that's being threatened by raiders. And then he slips back into his normal, hey, there's a settlement in need of help. And my subtitles are gone again, so... So, raider troubles at Oberland Station. We could check that out, because Oberland is actually not that far away. And I do want to expand my settlements a bit. But I also want to finish up Sturge's quest. And there we go. With the extra food we found, we can actually finish that up as well. And then I just need to talk to Sturge's. But my vodka ran out, so I'm just going to grab another one and wake up. Excuse me. Oh, wow, that was loud. That was loud because I'm drunk. So, hello, excuse me. This is Louise talking to Sturgis. Yeah, I'm, I'm done with the food situation, Sturgis. Now this place is starting to feel like home. Now that we can grow our own food, I think we can really make a go with this. I'm in a wall. 
The more we establish ourselves here, the more of a target we become. What we need is to get some defenses set up. Then maybe Preston will be able to relax a little bit. Oh, golly damn, do you want me to set up defenses? Oh, okay, I'm on it. That's my drunk Louise voice, so let's go check those defenses out. So let's place some turrets, so one over here and one over here. And that's already enough according to the game. So let's just double this up as well and just add more turrets. There we go. I don't really need all those crafting materials anyway. So let's go and get the searches now and finish. I think this that's supposed to be the last part of the quest, but... I want to still be drunk, so Sturgis, get out of your bed, buddy. I was glad to help. Well, I appreciate it. Of course you know you're welcome anytime. My door's always open to you. Excuse me? Those two. Some of the walls actually come to think of it. I guess I better get back to it. Take care now. And there we go. Sanctuary completed. And we didn't even trigger Idiot Savant on that. So all that talk about booze and intelligence was all for nothing because nothing happened. So, I'm going to leave the power armor over here. I'm going to take the fusion core with me, because otherwise, you know, people want to take advantage of the fact that my power armor is over here. Um, and then we can check out the rest of the stuff here. And for some reason, I just have got an illness for sleeping in a perfectly fine covered bed. Although there is rain. Ow. Um... Should have probably checked the roof situation before I started doing that. That's not... Yeah, I can't assume why the game thinks this is an uncovered bed. Because it's raining on top of it. But let's take care of the illness. Which actually worries me a bit. Because that's... I only have one antibiotic left after that. And that's a bit... Yeah, I'm mildly dehydrated from a lack of food. But... Uh, a lack of water. But we can actually eat up with some food there we go we're properly fed and then use the pump to fix the water situation and there we go we're properly hydrated i'm just gonna dump my remaining chunk i don't have any remaining chunk uh in there but what do i have i want to get rid of all my 38 rounds so i can't use that and i can't use the 45 rounds either and the 5.56 either Weapon-wise, I need to get rid of the flare gun because I don't really need that. And I'm going to get rid of like most of my Molotov cocktails. So like that, we made a bit of space. I have about 40 extra carry capacity. And since I'm now going back to the red rocket, I'm also going to pick up my full power armor set over there. Although I'm not actually sure if it is full. Let's go check that out. Yes, as I told, it is full. So let's enter that. And now we get an extra bit of carry capacity, but we do have some damaged equipment here. So let's see if I can't craft with the power armor. So let's craft and see if I can't repair any of that. So yeah, the left arm is pretty badly damaged. So just need steel for that. You know what? We're going to repair everything here. As long as we can. So the torso is pretty badly damaged as well. And then some steel from all of that. And some steel from all of that. Okay. Seems pretty fine to me. Now we can see if I can upgrade the torso. We can't. Because we need nuclear material. And I don't have any nuclear material lying around. Although. We might be able to fix that situation. Uh, I was hoping one of these cars would have some nuclear material in them, but apparently not. Not even the fusion flea, probably. I'm going to leave the fusion flea over there, because the fusion flea is nice. And I don't think that I can grab anything from the, uh, the cave underneath here, because that might have some radioactive material, but no, no such luck. Okay, so no nuclear material, that's fine. I do want to check out if I can't make some more pocketed material. No, I need more leather. Okay, fine. Yeah, trying to keep your inventory as clean as possible does have the effect that you're not getting as many materials as you otherwise would. So, that means I don't think I can actually upgrade anything else. No, I definitely need the circuitry. And I used all my circuitry for anything else. 
and the torso is the biggest one I want to upgrade, but of course we need the circuitry and the nuclear material now, because I used the circuitry to make a, a turret here. But the Minuteman paint actually doesn't cost anything, so I might as well grab all of that. So for some reason I'm, I'm taking damage, so that usually means that I'm over encumbered, but I'm not. That's weird, I did get a few extra items there for some reason. Do I have any molds left? No. That's a bit weird. Let's just grab that. My new fancy power armor. That is painted in the Minuteman colors. And that raises our charisma by one, I would assume. Look at that. It's not actually an, a bad look. So now that we have that, we're all set to start heading towards Boston itself. But that means that we, of course, need to go through... Uh, Concord again, but I'm gonna take a little side route to the um, Oberfield station over there. Because if we check out the map, we clearly did go to the side of the uh, the map already. But Over Overland Station is uh, more to the south. So if you go over here, it's right over here across the water. So that's past Lexington even. So I should probably drop back into do i need to drop into lexington again i don't think i need to i could go past the diner uh, but i think i can skip most of lexington i could check out the super duper mart for more food and water but i think i'm fine at this point so i don't need to worry about that so let's just head to overland station next a glowing rad roach well it's dead now could check that out, but I think those barrels are going to give me way too much radiation damage. Um, just wanted to get rid of the glowing rat roach, but that's a bad sign if those are starting to spawn already. You know what? I have a level up still. I actually have two. That is even more interesting, and I'm pretty close to level 11 as well. I keep forgetting to use my skill points, my perks. Uh, so we're definitely using the pistols more and more, so 20% extra on that, I don't feel like that's a bad choice so there we go gunslinger up to 40 percent and then i think we could should go for scrounger so uh get find more ammunition in containers so here we go that's gonna become more important later on okay and then next up we're gonna get idiot savant 2 which is gonna get us uh i think it's five times the experience for many action so that's gonna be nice there's actually a house over here that's interesting, with a ghoul underneath. There we go. And there's one on the right as well, but with our upgraded pistol damage. How the hell are you missing that? There we go. There's more. There's more where that came from. Oh, there it is. Hi. And done. Let's save those criticals for something else. I'm still detected by something. I'm not gonna care. 5mm, 10mm bullets. That's always nice. It's actually not unmarked. This is actually a house of some, of some description. So let's check that out. Because we might actually be able to sleep here as well. Let's open that up. Yes, there is definitely... Oh, There's a bloat fly over there. I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna annoy it but this thing is definitely awake so let's kill that and there's a hatch in here huh you know what let's just close that off get out of the power suit and check maybe i should take the i'm gonna take the power suit uh, the power armor suit dog meat stop opening the door i did that for my protection because uh i'm gonna just Definitely drugs. So let's go down here. Root cellar. In the back of my mind, I'm thinking I should probably have saved before doing this. Because this seems like it's pretty big. Just gonna grab the bobby pins. Um, there's more ammo around here as well. Just gonna go do my loops. I always want to go through the area here. This seems like a survival bunker. A doomsday bunker. Ooh, 308 rounds. It's always nice. How big is this place? Because this seems pretty big. What the hell is this blue stuff? 
Just gonna turn off the radio. I'm taking rads. Oh. Um. Hi. Um. Hello. Wayne Gorski. Um. Critical. Hi. Bye, Wayne Gorski. I'm taking rats, but it's not the end of the world. Should probably not get too close. Somebody was... Was he making a mini nuke? Yeah, those are mini nuke parts. I'm just gonna quit... Ooh, there's another barrel over here. Oh, that's a boulder cap mine. Oh, another wasteland survival guide. Diamond City is now permanently marked on your map. Okay. And a personal terminal. There we go. We're in statement of intent. This will be my first and only entry. I identify myself as a free-thinking citizen of these once great United States. I will not stand idly by as the government in infects the minds of its people with devices like the electrical tower they've erected in my front lawn. I pledge to take down this mind control device by any means necessary and have begun construction on an incendiary device. If you are reading this, I have certainly been killed or detained in a government interrogation camp. The news will surely warp the truth and brand me a communist traitor. Do not believe their lies. Let all true patriots know that what I do, I do of my own free will and for the good of my country. Okay, so Wayne was a bit of a cuckoo head. Um, okay, fair enough, he was trying to make a nuke on his own, in his own basement. Which is a bit weird. Did I actually get hit? Seems like I am a little bit damaged, so I just took one of the food items we're carrying along. And then I'm gonna sleep. Um, so let's just get out of the suit so I can drop a save right here. And there we go, I am parched from a lack of water, but that's fine, I think, although parched. Is parched the first or the second tier? I think parched is the second tier, right? Ah, oh, no, parched is the first one. Thirsty is the second tier, okay. Fair enough, let's move. Oh yeah, the bloatfly is probably still there. Yeah, the bloatfly is now zooming over there, but I don't need to go in that direction, so that's fine. Say, now that we have power armor, I could as well try and take out these gunners. I do have the hunting rifle with a bit more ammo now. That was definitely double the damage. Um, there we go, and then a critical. There goes his head. Oh, wow. Yeah, those guys are not fooling around, are they? Just gonna go back a bit. I know I don't want to really sprint with a sting on, but there we go. Those guys are not fooling around. Hello. I should probably take the shotgun. Oh, wow. Am I? No. Oh, God. Oh, that's a Molotov. I'm gonna die and I'm dead okay luckily I slept in that house so don't mess with gunners I also now realize that we're at level 10 now so I should be more careful um, you know what change of plans I'm gonna go somewhere else I'm not gonna go to Overland Station because Overland Station is well a bit too far from my taste so I'm gonna head back to the Corvega uh, car factory and move towards Boston from there because that's gonna help us out in another part of well Another faction. We're gonna meet another faction. Um, I think this is the nightmare house, isn't it? I'm still here trying to check it out, but I think Mickey is Mickey friendly look man. I've been thinking about this for a long long time I know what I'm talking about here Bullshit you can't just put something between two pieces of bread and claim it's a sandwich. Does that mean a loaf of bread is technically a bread sandwich? Technically, yes, but you wouldn't eat it all at once like that, so it doesn't matter. How you hold it matters. Talk all you want, man. You put that piece of my alert meat between two pieces of bread, but it still ain't a sandwich. Well, what the hell would you call it then? Disgusting. That's what. Oh, okay, hello? Hey there. Okay, he doesn't really want to talk. Okay, let's check out the guy inside then. I have never met these people. Hello. Yes. Mike and Moss. And they have a bed, but it's probably... It's not owned. And I can take all of these things. I'm fine with that. 
Two stem packs, I'm never gonna leave that lying around. And then we have some more train carts probably dropped down from the... From the train... Oh no, this is a truck. But I remember this area vaguely. I, there might be another piece of power armor in here as well. Where are you? And otherwise... Ooh. Ooh, 308 rounds. I like the sound of that. But... Aha, in that cage. I think that's power armor, right? And more ammo. Ooh, more 308 rounds over here. Oh, we have 60 ammo. 60 rounds of hunting rifle ammo. I mean, it's not the best gun. And this is... Yeah, more power armor. And more importantly, it has a fusion core. But it's advanced locked, so I can't even access it, sadly. Otherwise, I could have taken the power core for me, the fusion core for myself. So at this point, you might be wondering why this video isn't over yet. Oh, um, why I'm talking to you like this. Well, my game audio got corrupted, so I'm kind of stuck with this. So I'm going to recap the next episode really, really quickly for you guys. So we can head on to the next episode next week. So in our power armor, we headed to Cambridge and the Cambridge police station itself. We fought our way through a horde of ghouls until we reached the police station itself, where we helped out a Brotherhood of Steel recon team. Well, I say we helped out, we kind of stood in the corner like a scaredy cat and shot the most, well, most of the ghouls while we uh, were pretty much protected by Paladin Dance's gorgeous body. But after that, we met the uh, recon team itself and Paladin Dance, we got an, into an assignment immediately where we headed to Arcjet Systems. In there we fought a bunch of sins, I eventually burned Paladin Dance into a crisp to help him out and then we found the transmitter they were looking for so they could start contacting the Brotherhood of Steel proper. After that I helped out Reese. Reese is a guy who hates me, but uh, nevertheless I helped him clear out the metro station and when we got back Paladin Dance gave us another mission to find the previous Brotherhood of Steel recall team and that's basically it. After that we tried to find a bed, I kinda missed the bed that was in the police station itself but eventually we slept there and that was the end of the episode so with that i'd like to thank you all for watching and see you guys in the next episode which will probably have game audio or fallout for survival thank you enormously for watching and goodbye